Hiya and welcome to Itsy Crafty. Today I'd like to do something with my Cricut Joy machine and I'd like to show you the Cricut Joy cards and how easy they are to cut and draw both the outside and the inside of the card using your Cricut Joy machine. I've just got here some cards which I've just made just to show you a few different examples. So this one's a Happy Father's Day card. All of the designs here are in Cricut Design Space, so I have not designed these cards. These are designs that anyone can go and cut. So the Happy Father's Day card, I'm not sure if you can see the black glittery insert there, absolutely gorgeous. And if I zoom in, you can see just the detail on this card. So this card has been cut and drawn in the Cricut Joy machine. I'll just quickly run through these and then we'll get into the tutorial making the card. This is the very first card I made, so I cut this one when I actually unboxed my Cricut Joy, which I did film if you'd like to have a look at that video. And here's another one also just using the grey with that black glitter and a black pen. This pen here is the 0.4 black fine point pen that comes with the Cricut Joy machine. And here I've made the same card, but just put a different colour insert inside it, just to show you the difference that you can make just with the inserts. And this card also with the drawing, it's used a 1mm metallic pen. This card I've also drawn on the inside of it with the metallic marker. So inside the insert, I've drawn this scene here from the Cricut. This was an image just in Cricut Design Space. And then it's got Big Birthday Wishes, which is written there also with the metallic marker. So the Cricut's done all of this for me. And then we've got Birthday Girl and Birthday Boy. This is a silver holographic insert, which also comes in one of the Cricut Joy insert card packs. So we've got Birthday Girl. And inside I've just drawn the dandelion of wishes. And then we've got a happy birthday in the metallic marker there. And birthday boy. Just a whole bunch of balloons. That's another design in Cricut Design Space. And happy birthday in a different font there. So hopefully you can see through this that you can actually make your entire card. Here's a happy Mother's Day. Then we've got back to school with a metallic marker back to school drawn in there. This one here I just wanted to show you. I've put a little bit of washi on the insert here just to put a different colour. So you could use washi or different coloured card or paper or all sorts if you actually wanted to colour different parts of the design in different colours. It's very simple. The back of the insert is just the same because you're hiding everything between these two layers. So you can decorate these in as many ways as you like. Then here I have the silver holographic and I've just layered that with some acetate that comes in one of these insert card packs here. This one here comes with different acetates just to make it a bit more exciting. And then that's the Cricut drawing in there as well. And here's another one that's layered just a party time. So I have a red cardboard in there and then I have a blue star layering acetate. Just to tell you a little bit about the cards, they're all A2 size in card speak. So A2 size is four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. You can see the sizes here of the cards and of the inserts. So the inserts are just a quarter inch smaller in each direction. You can buy a whole lot of these packs which already come with the pre-folded cards, the pre-cut inserts and envelopes. There's a lot of these different packs. This is the one with the black sparkly one, which I love, absolutely love that. So you can buy these packs, they're quite affordable. You can also just cut your own cardstock into the same size. So here I've got some American Crafts textured cardstock, which I've just cut down. 
and it's half of a US letter size if you think of it. If we have two of these beside each other then that is a US letter size and you just need to cut it in half and fold it and it's as simple as that. I've also gone through my scrap paper and cardstock and cut out a whole heap of cardstock and paper to use as the inserts which pop inside the card. So these ones here are all American Crafts textured cardstock in a range of different colours. And then I've just got some scraps of various scrapbook paper and other cardboards and so on. And I just have them all handy in my craft space. So I can grab these and then just play around with different inserts inside the card. So what I mean by that, you have the insert here. So when we go through making the card, I'll show you how to assemble it. And you can basically just see what it looks like with different colours inside it. So I find it really handy having these all cut to size, ready to go. You use the Cricut Joy Machine to cut this design and then pretty much with the insert you just poke it in these little insert corners here. So before you do that you can do, as I said, you can embellish the insert further with different colours and patterns and so on by layering or just adding different colours. So the insert just sits in like that. What I'll do now is we'll just go into Cricut Design Space and select a card to cut and draw and we'll do the inside and the outside of the card using the Cricut Joy just so you can see the process step by step. Insert cards in the Cricut Joy are straightforward to make because of this Cricut Joy card mat. So it comes in packaging like this. Here's one that I've used. It has a protective layer on top, so I'll just remove that. This is actually why I have um, the vinyl one here, because it's a little bit of see-through plastic that can be quite easy to lose. So I like to put some sort of vinyl on them so that I can find them on my workspace. This is the Cricut Joy card mat which feeds into the Joy machine. And this bit here is a little bit sticky, and then it has a bit that lifts up here into a pocket. What I'll do is we'll put a card in here and see how it all works. I'm just going to use one of these cards out of this pack. This is the A2 sized card, so we just open it and slide the back of it under this see-through bit at the top there. You can see when you do that it matches up to these lines here, which are four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. So you just make sure it's nice and even along the edge and then basically just push it down. And therefore the card is stuck nicely to the mat. To find a design to cut, go into Cricut Design Space. And these are the newest projects which have been added into Design Space. You can see there are some cards there. So you can just scroll down new projects or you can go into all categories and actually search through cards. Or you can use the search to put, for example, insert card. I'm just going to pick a card randomly along here. In fact, I might just use this one here. It's your birthday and I want to make it. You can see then the card on the mat so we just go continue and I need to connect to my joy machine. I have an insert card if you see here insert card and I need to load the fine point blade which is in the machine and then I just take the card mat and just feed it into these guides here. The machine's just making sure there's enough material on the mat to use and then on here we just hit the go button.
Okay, so that's finished cutting. So then we need to go onto here and press unload to unload the mat and that releases the mat from the machine. It's pretty much the same if you're using a PC to send it to your joy or you're using a tablet or something. The app looks a little bit different in each one but it works just the same. Now the card mat is sort of, I don't know if you almost call it self-weeding but if you just gently pull on the card you can just lift it up and most of the design that you don't want has remained there. You can see there's still little bits that have come through. So it can be good just to grab a little weeding tool, for example, just to poke out these little extra bits that haven't weeded themselves. I'm just going to grab one of these inserts just to show you the design. So we've got It's Your Birthday there and we can play around with different inserts as I said. So you can have different colours. We could put different washi down under each balloon to make all the balloons different colours or different colours of card or paper there. What I mean by that is pretty much you just stick washi or card under the relevant balloon. I've just randomly grabbed a washi, which I had at hand. It's a super neon orange, actually, just to show you what I mean. So you can pop a little bit of paper, for example, under the section where a balloon shows, or you could do something like this. I have a lot of washi, so I find it a good way to use my washi. Just if you do have quite transparent washi, you need to be careful not to overlap them because it would change the colour in the middle there. So if we put that back down, oh, I made it a little bit long. As you can see there, it's got a little bit of the string on orange. But you can see there's an orange balloon. And you could do the same with other balloons or other letters. I'd like to now show you how to draw inside the card using your Cricut Joy. So we get the card mat back and just use a scraper just to remove all of these parts we don't want. I like the big scraper because it's only a couple of goes and you've got rid of everything. And then to make the inside of the card, you just want to fold your card over so the inside is on the top here and then just slide it into the card mat like you did before. So lining everything up along the edge there and making sure it's along these lines as best it can be and then just pushing it down. And then that's what we'll load into the Cricut Joy once we've decided what to write on here. We'll just hit the finish button and go back. And I want to go to the canvas to make the inside of the card. I just want to go to shapes and insert a square. And I want to edit the size of the square to be the size of the insert that goes into the card. So I want to edit it to be a width of 4 inches. 4 and a height. I need to unlock it to make it a rectangle. If you didn't see, I hit the padlock button to unlock it to be able to make it a rectangle. And I want to make this 5.25, so 5 and 1 quarter inches. And I'll just change the colour of that to a little bit of a lighter colour. So that is the card insert. And now I want to insert the text of Happy Birthday. So I want to go to, you could go to text and select a font and write happy birthday or you can go to images 
and search for an image which has already been created which says happy birthday. So if we go to search and put draw, D-R-A-W, draw birthday. And search for that. I could have put happy birthday which would filter through some of these more. We can see here are a whole lot of different options that we could put inside the card. You can see here some of the examples that I've used in other cards. I actually quite like the big birthday wishes so I'm going to insert that. If you remember, the card is a landscape card, so it's cut to read and hold this way. So we do need to make sure we write in the card in the same direction. So if we take our big birthday wishes, we want to rotate the big birthday wishes to be straight up and down. And you can resize it. We might make it a little bit bigger. Because it does say big birthday wishes. So we have that there. Now to align it directly in the center, if we select both of our layers and we go to edit and we can align. So we can align in the middle and we can align to the center and that puts the text in the middle going in each direction on the card. So we've got big birthday wishes there. We want to now select the text and make sure it is on draw. So this is in the edit menu. We just make sure it says draw and you can select the exact pen you're going to use. It defaults to a midnight 0.4 millimeter fine point pen, which I believe is the pen that comes where it actually says black. So maybe it's this one. This is the pen that comes with the Cricut Joy machine. So you can either do that or the only other pens I have are these metallic markers. So I could use one of those. I might use the gold one. So I'll go to marker and say gold. So there we have it, and the next thing we want to do is just attach these layers together. And then we want to make it. So we're making it on a card mat. You can see the design there. And the reason I've put the rectangle and attached it is so it will be in exactly the right place on the card. So by making the rectangle the size that the joy will cut or draw on, it makes it work. Okay, so we want to hit continue. We'll connect the joy. Bring it over here. And just load the card mat. Okay, so we want to select insert card cardstock and it says load the gold metallic pen. To do this just open the clamp here and remove the blade and then with the pen just drop it into here and close the clamp and then just give the card mat a little push to load it. And now we want to hit the go button. Okay, it now asks you to load the blade because if you remember we designed a rectangle to cut around the outside just so that we could get the text in the right position. So we do not want to load the blade, we just want to unload the mat. We're not using the cut feature on the inside of the card. Just pop the blade back so I don't lose it. And here we have what it's written. So it's written big birthday wishes in the middle of the card there. 
and then just lift that card up and pull it out. I'll just pop this insert in just so we can see what the card looks like. You can see to put the insert, all of the Joy insert cards, it cuts corners. It cuts four slots in the corner to slip your insert in. So we've got It's Your Birthday and we've got Big Birthday Wishes. So you can write if it's to Fred, for example, you can put to Fred Big Birthday Wishes from Jeremy. I mean, you can do whatever you like. Um, you don't need to use the images either. You can just use text and add your own text. Same to this bit here. You can add images or text to this part just by popping this on your normal mat. So I'll do that just to show you what I mean. This is the standard grip mat that came with the Cricut Joy machine in the box. And this is the insert for the card. So we can see here how it's four inches by five and a quarter inches. And we can draw a design or text on this side as well. If I go to finish and just go back out of there. And I'll just go to a new project. I'm not going to save what I've just done. So I just have a new project here and I'm just going to go to image and then search balloon and these are the images coming up in Cricut Design Space when I put balloon. Okay I might actually just put balloons because I'm thinking maybe two or three balloons. This one actually, I'm going to select this one and put insert. I'll just click on that and select edit to see the size of them. They're three inches high, so that sounds fine. You can see they're cut, so I just want to go there and say instead of cutting, please draw and I'm going to draw with my gold marker and then hit the tick there and then I want to make it. I'm going to make it on a mat and you can see it here. I could have done the same thing adding the rectangle here to make sure they're in the right place but I'm just going to move them. So if I click on the image I can rotate the image because I need it to go into landscape and I can see my cardboard goes down to five and a quarter and I'm thinking two balloons over here. So I'll put them maybe about there and I want to hit continue. So I need to connect my joy. And I'm just going to say insert card cardstock and it's telling me to load my gold pen. So once again with the gold pen just drop it in and close the clamp and then load the mat. And now I want to hit go. Okay, and that's the balloons drawn, so now I'll just hit unload. And here you can see what it's drawn with the gold metallic pen. It's just drawn these two balloons on there. So we'll just peel this off. And 
now I want to add the insert so the balloons show on this side. And now this is the birthday card. So we've got, it's your birthday. And then when you open it, you can see these nice gold balloons. And we've got big birthday wishes in metallic gold. So hopefully you can see from this tutorial that it is really straightforward to use these pre-designed cards using the Cricut Joy Machine. And it's especially easy when you use the insert card packs which come with everything you need. Although I do love the flexibility of being able to use all of my scraps and cut an entire rainbow of cardboard to use as the inserts. I love that. There's a lot more you can do with the cards. You can design your own and you can embellish even further. I'd love to show you in the future designing your own card using the Cricut Joy. But hopefully with this you can see how much fun it is, how quick it is and how easy it is just to customise your own cards. And you'll never need to purchase another card again. I know using your Cricut Explore or your Cricut Maker, you can make much fancier looking cards. But I just love these for the convenience of them. And they're absolutely perfect for children's birthday parties, etc. I hope you've enjoyed watching this and hopefully it's inspired you to get creating. Particularly if you have a Cricut Joy, it's a wonderful little DIY machine. So please, if you have one, Get it out and start card making today. Thanks so much for joining me and hopefully I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.